Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys and welcome to Is That Your Hair? I create hair, fashion, and lifestyle content that will encourage you to be your very best self. So if you're with that, you're in the right place. So today is a special video. I'm here to showcase my top 10 straight synthetic wigs. I did this series last year and I received a lot of great feedback. I featured videos on my top 10 synthetic wigs of all time my top 10 textured wigs, and I did a video featuring my top five $20 wigs, which is all about the wigs that I show y'all during $20 Tuesday. But then I thought back and I was like, hmm, what about my straight wigs? Which ones are the top contenders that I've tried in the past six years? That is how long I've been wearing synthetic wigs. It's been a minute, y'all, so I've, I've tried a slew of them, okay? Now here's one disclaimer I wanna give, especially to those who are new to the wig world. Synthetic wigs, they tangle, especially, you know, the silkier synthetic wigs. So just keep that in mind. No one's saying that these wigs are about to last you for six months. Some of them are good for a look. And some of them, with proper maintenance, you can make them last for quite a few wears. You'll notice that a lot of the wigs on this list are of a yakier texture or they're kinky straight because that's what I prefer. I don't like the silky, silky type of wigs. I don't like baby doll hair. I don't think none of us likes that because that's Tango City. And I'm not trying to be there. So if you're here for yakky textures, you're definitely going to appreciate the ones I chose for this list. So here's how I'm going to do this video. I'm going to showcase these wigs brand by brand. Now, if this video is super helpful for you, please make sure you drop me some comments, like the video, show me some love. You know, I just wanna help y'all out. And we're all trying to get a good deal. Make sure you check the my description box. All of my links will be there. I do have affiliate links as well. And if you shop through my links, you are directly supporting Is That Your Hair? And I greatly appreciate it. Now, before we get into our top 10, y'all, I gotta show y'all this wig. This wig on my head. Like, honey. Do y'all know what this is? Cause I, I don't think y'all know. This is a new wig by Free Trust Equal. I have been eyeing this wig for so long and I, I just had to get her. And honey, she, she is fire. Do you see these highlights? Oh my God, this is gorgeous. And it's highlighted all throughout the wig, y'all. All throughout the unit. This unit is pretty long on me. I am 5'3", and it comes down on me at least 24 inches. It is layered. It's a right side part, and it has this beautiful curved part. Y'all know the wigs that normally have the straight part. In 2016, 2017, I was okay with it, but in 2021, I don't like the straight back part anymore. I like a little curve. The fact that the cap construction comes like this is awesome. Overall, due to the color and this curved part and the layering and this yakky texture, I really like this wig. However, However, there are a few cons. One, it is not fitting my head. <laughs> I have a medium sized head, 22.3 circumference, and I had to pull on this joint in order for it to fit. So if you have a larger head, like 23 inches and above, this may not fit you properly. Now the other con, and you know, I, I feel like this may be why I haven't seen this wig around YouTube like that, but this is a steep price. I paid at least $55 for this wig. And I know some of you are like, what? This is not even a frontal, right? There's no 13 by four, six, seven, eight parting space, none of that. It's, you know, a regular lace front wig. Do I think this is worth the price? See, <sighs> depends on what you value, right? For me personally, I know that this color blend and these highlights, which look like a custom color unit, honestly. I'm not gonna find these highlights on another wig like this. And I know we're all familiar with Outre's units and they do color extremely well, but when it comes to highlights specifically, Free Trust Equal has always done really well in that arena. I've tried numerous wigs that have been highlighted like some type of blonde or cinnamon color. I remember one wig, actually not Free Trust Equal, but it's in the Shake and Go family, Milky Way, because Milky Way and Free Trust Equal all fall under the Shake and Go umbrella, right? It was a, a wig by Milky Way called Harmony 114, and that wig was bomb. If I can find the clip, I'll put it over here so you can see. I cut it, but the highlights were outstanding on that unit. Subtle, beautiful highlights. 
I think Free Trust knows that you're not gonna get this coloring on another wig and maybe that's why they feel justified in the price. I don't know. But for me personally, if you're gonna charge that much, make it a human hair blend. That's all I ask. Because this, even though this feels beautiful, this is gonna tangle just like any other synthetic wig and it's going to be a little irritating once you think about how much you paid for it. Especially if you're not accustomed to synthetic wigs. So that's my only thing. If this were a human hair blend, I would be like, okay, maybe the price is justified. But because it's not, I, I'm, I'm side-eyeing it a little bit. I am. But I will say this color, y'all, it's an outstanding color job. Done very well, so I'm not mad. I paid the money. I'm not mad. I'm happy with what I see right now, especially with this cap construction with the curved part. But let me know what you think in the comments. If you've tried this wig, if you thought about it, I know I definitely want this color right here oh my god this color is gorgeous i want that all right y'all now let's jump into my top 10 right and we're gonna start here with another free trust equal unit freedom part 203 <laughs> I, I must have bought this unit at least four times in the past few years that i've been rocking synthetic wigs i love it because it's the perfect density for me me personally i prefer a lighter density and it gives me that it falls on me about like maybe like 16 to 18 inches so i think it's perfect for everyday wear it has light layers in the unit and it's super beginner friendly literally i can put on this unit in less than five minutes and be out the door so if you're looking for an easy breezy straight synthetic unit freedom part 203 is your girl actually i recently repurchased it on amazon in one of the i think it was like a 1b30 color i haven't worn it yet but you'll probably see me rocking it on my IG stories and that's another thing I'm on Instagram y'all so make sure y'all follow me is that you're here with three R's same name as on YouTube because sometimes I post the wigs that I'm wearing before I post them on YouTube so if you want a little sneak peek that's where you go okay so the next wig that's on our list is free trust equal honey held me down okay i bought that unit in two colors i had it in a 99j color before which is so freaking cute oh my god <laughs> that was back in like 2015 like when i first started wearing synthetic wigs what i love about this unit is the fact that it has a beautiful yakky texture almost like kinky straight texture and that was one of my first units that felt like that that actually felt like it could be my natural hair so i was so hype y'all and i like the little little flip bang that it comes with too if you've been rocking synthetic wigs for a while you know hania made her way through the yt streets quite a bit i actually reviewed her in 20 was that 19 or 2020 either way she's still a top contender to me even in 2021 i need to pull her out again because she's just a quintessential bob in my opinion definitely check her out i have it linked in the description box down below and remember all these wigs that i'm featuring on this list are my favorites these are wigs that i would repurchase again and again and also let me know in the comments if we have any favorites in common if you've tried anything on this list drop me a comment because i want to hear about it all right next on the top 10 is a model model unit and her name is ebony <laughs> run for my money first of all when i first bought it it was 13 dollars on glamourtrust.com my god and y'all sold that joint out <laughs> i'm still so impressed by ebony but right now she is hard to come by in a natural color i don't know if they're discontinuing her or what but that is the only middle part even cut bob i have tried in synthetic wood world they need to make more like that like just not even a frontal just a regular lace front middle part even cut i know a lot of people like asymmetrical cuts not really my thing so when ebony came around i was so ecstatic and i still am i'm glad that i held on to her because now that she's discontinued i'm gonna make sure i make her last for as long as i can but that's the good thing about bobs right synthetic bobs because they normally fall you know around the shoulders you're not getting all the wear and tear that you would normally get from clothing like this sweater right here 
Right, cotton material, right? This material is going to wreak havoc on a straight wig like this after a while. So that's why I love my bobs because they just don't require as much maintenance as the longer synthetic wigs. If you're a bob girl, let me know in the comments because I see you, sis. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna switch over to Sensational. I have two wigs to show y'all. First is a wig I tried recently, Butter Lace 6. Trying to holler at me, I don't want no scrub. A scrub is a guy that can't get no love from me. Hanging out the passenger side of his best friend's ride. I have been wearing this wig out, y'all. It's been holding me down so much in the past month. I fell in love with this unit primarily due to the density, the texture, and the lace. The Butter Lace collection? Got some damn good lace for a synthetic wig. So if you haven't checked out that collection, specifically this unit, go ahead, click that link, sis, and check it out. Check out my review because I just did it a few weeks ago. That is like my current favorite right now, especially in the blonde. Do you see this blonde color? Hello? <laughs> this color is popping. I love the face framing highlights that comes with the Money Piece Hazel. So y'all, please don't sleep on Butter Lace 6. I sleeping for a long time but I'm woke now I'm telling you and I'm not going back to bed <laughs> all right the next wig on our top 10 list is another sensational unit alpha woman the half wig the headband wig trend was huge on YouTube right and I took part in it and a lot of y'all appreciated my videos so much so that I started a series called 10 cheap headband wigs right and it was basically me gathering as many half wigs I could get trying them out showing them to y'all and having a good kiki about it so this unit was actually from my last cheap headband wig video and I'll leave a playlist down below if you want to check out those videos because they're really good and there's so many wigs it's like 40 wigs in that series but the reason why i love alpha woman is because of the kinky straight texture and the length i think it's a perfect everyday length super easy breezy you just can't go wrong and i believe it's on amazon right now for like 20 dollars or something like that go cop it and that's another thing y'all if you see a wig and you know you like it and it's available if you can cop it because sometimes y'all message me afterwards like oh my god it's sold out sometimes that happens if enough people watch the video and enough people are ready to spend money on it they're gonna buy it on on spot a lot of these wigs are my absolute favorites so i wouldn't be surprised if some of these you know end up missing after a while because they're they're bomb wigs and alpha woman is definitely one of them i wore it with a headband but i'm sure it would look Perfect if I decided to straighten my natural hair as well. All right, now we're moving on to Outre. You already know that I rock with Outre very hard, right? So the first on the Outre list is Outre Soft and Natural Misha 203. will always have a special place in my heart because I was a part of the launch and also Nisha 203 just gave me everything I wanted in a textured unit the fact that at the time there weren't textured units that came in a whole bunch of colors and then Outre did that they did that for us so Nisha 203 first of all the, the stock car model looks stunning in her oh my god and that 1B color I think I've tried almost all the colors except for like the super blonde one for Nisha 203 but let me tell you the cinnamon spice look at this color y'all this color is amazing now in this clip this was after i blew it out quite a bit i definitely ran through the cinnamon spice color you hear me but even fresh out the pack as you see it here it's absolutely gorgeous so 203 for me is still a solid wig in my book the only complaint i've heard is that sometimes it could be a little too dense for some people and for that as i've said so many times before my channel get you the revlon blow dryer brush that brush is a godsend to me because it helps lessen the density of my wigs without sacrificing the texture and i actually just did a video specifically on that how to lessen the density of your wigs i did it with another nisha and i definitely suggest you check it out it'll be linked down below get your life sis look i'm full of little tips and tricks okay i have a whole 
wig 101 playlist featuring lots of things I do to help my wigs just look more natural and fit me and make me more comfortable wearing them. So after this video, you know, it's okay if you want to binge watch, check it out. All right, the next wig on the Outre list is Outre Nisha 207. Now, I literally just reviewed this wig the other week and I absolutely love it. To me, it's like Nisha 203's little sister. So it still has the similar density, it's just shorter. So if you felt like 203 was too overwhelming with the length and the density, get the 207. And then, you know, you can use the blow dryer brush if you want to make it less dense, like I mentioned I did in the video. It's a gorgeous wig, definitely holiday ready, perfect for the fall and winter months. I'm already wearing this wig twice already, and I already know that I'm going to be wearing this wig the fuck out. <laughs> But you know what? It's okay. Because y'all already know what I like to do. I like to go with my Simply Style silicone spray. I spritz a little bit around the wig. I hit the nape. I brush it out. And I always put my wigs back in the packaging as much as I can. I don't normally fall asleep in my synthetic wigs. Sometimes people do, okay? But I normally don't recommend beginners do that because it can be frustrating when your wig starts to tangle. Not fun. Just package your wigs back afterwards and make sure you have the right tools. Overall, if you like kinky straight, if you love kinky straight, if you adore kinky straight textures, Nisha 207, that's your girl. All right, the next wig on the Outre list is Outre Perfect Hairline Divina. <laughs> beautiful flip action going on the hairline was pre-plucked and y'all already know a perfect hairline could be a little bit of a mess with the hairline but on Davina I liked it once I tinted the lace and melted it it just looked bomb on me it was a little bit asymmetrical but not too much and I normally like my bobs really short so I was surprised that I liked Davina as much as I did but she just looked so good on my frame I mean I like her a lot. I still recommend her in 2021. And the texture is absolutely gorgeous. Another unit similar to the niches, but a little less, a little less kinky. Now again, if this video is helping you, if it's giving you life, make sure you tap that like button, hit your girl up on Instagram. Feel free to comment down below. You can even DM me if you want. Let me know. I like to hear from you all. And it helps me make informed decisions when I'm creating content. Like when I get a lot of good feedback, I'm like, oh, bet. Got it, I need to do a part two. Or, hey, I need to like do a spinoff of this video. You know what I'm saying? So your feedback really helps me make certain decisions when it comes to this channel. All right, last Outre wig on the list is Outre Serenity. <laughs> sometime in 2020 I wasn't too impressed with the other two from this line but serenity and the ginger brown color stunning she's a half wig super affordable I'm sure you could find her like in the $20 price range nowadays and even cheaper she's just a gorgeous wig and I'm sure even more so in the natural colors I would love to rock serenity in like a half up half down style what Oh, I can see that being so gorgeous. But yeah, she's easy, she's simple, beginner friendly. If you're new to wigs, I definitely recommend half wigs because you don't really have to worry about lace and things like that. You can just kind of plop it on and choose to blend your hair or you can put on a headband. All right, y'all. Next on the top 10, we are doing Bobby Boss. Only got two more. And I realized I did more than 10 in this video, but y'all don't mind, right? Y'all don't mind. <laughs> Next, we have Bobby Boss Lena. <laughs> Lena! Girl, let me tell you, I wore Lena a good 20 times in the year 2018. Like Bobby Boss Lena, especially in that blonde color, oh, that blend, gorgeous. Another even cut bob. So I know I said earlier that Model Model Ebony was like the only middle middle part bob I tried that was even cut. 
Lena was pretty even cut too in the middle part. So I take that back because I tried her first before Ebony. But yes, solid unit. And Body Boss Lena was all over YouTube. Like everyone loved that unit. I also tried Lena in the 1B teal color and I had that joint laying flat. Okay, I probably had like a fresh set of cornrows that day. <laughs> but she just looks so good. Nowadays though, she's hard to come by in that color that I originally tried. However, I was on Amazon and I saw a vendor selling a wig that looked just like Bobby Boss Lena in the same color. I'm gonna link it down below, y'all. Look underneath the hair info, you'll see it. I'm tempted to try it out because it looks exactly the same. <laughs> hey, maybe you guys wanna try it out too and see, you know, how it comes out. If you do, let me know, DM me. But yes, Lena, Lena, oh my God. We had so many good memories together. <laughs> So many trips to Miami and Bobby Boss Lena. Like, I was just getting my whole life in that wig. I, I love bobs. And I do have an entire bob wig playlist too. So that'll be linked in my description box if you want to check out some more bob styles that I've tried. All right, the last wig on the list is the Bobby Boss wig from the Miss Origin series, Natural Straight 26. Think about it, you know the things that come along with you make me, you make me the one with so this wig right here hands down is the best human hair blend wig i have tried the best and i remember when i first tried this this was at a time where sensational was getting on my damn nerves with the wellace collection because some of the fibers were just not hitting they weren't working for me it was tango city with what lace audrey like ugh what lays Camille? I don't know if I got a bad batch, but she wasn't hitting for me. I had to do a lot to her. So I tried Bobby Boss. I fell in love with her due to the beautiful texture. I just could not believe it was synthetic hair mixed in. I was like, yo, this is human AF. <laughs> this ain't synthetic. Why are they lying? <laughs> That's how I felt. So if you can find it in natural color, please, please, I highly recommend you check it out. I believe it's a 13 by seven frontal wig. So you get a lot of parting space. It's a beautiful length on me. I think it was like 22 inches, 24, maybe 26, something like that. The texture is gorgeous and can't no one tell you that's a synthetic wig. Straight up, no one. Bobby Boss absolutely did that with that unit. And also, I believe they have it in a half wig version too, if I'm not mistaken. I randomly saw that. So if you like half wigs, check it out in the half wig version as well. All right, y'all, we are all done with my top 10 straight synthetic wigs of all time. What do you all think? Let me know in the comments. I need y'all to sound off down below. Tell me which ones were your favorites from this list. Do we have any favorites in common? Please let me know. I wanna hear from you. Y'all know I love when y'all talk to me. I always talk back, so comment, comment, comment. As I said earlier to me, all these wigs are bangers and definitely deserves to be in your collection. So you can't go wrong with what you choose. As far as this wig that's on my head right now, like I said, the price is definitely steep, but I will say that this is definitely one of the most well done highlight jobs I've seen on a synthetic wig. So free trust equal, y'all really did that. I just need y'all to make it a human hair blend, okay? Okay. Now, if you're new here, make sure you tap that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Y'all, it's the holiday season. We have a lot more content coming, okay? We have a lot more content coming. I'm actually going to start a new series on my channel, which involves wigs and outfits. So stay tuned for that. Is That Your Holiday is also coming from December 1st to December 22nd. And I'll be collabing with some of my favorite creators on YouTube. So that's going to be a lot of fun. My birthday trip's coming up. I'll be vlogging that in December. We got a lot of fun things. So make sure you turn your notification bell on so you don't miss out. And of course, I've been going live on Amazon. So thank y'all for supporting me through that. Make sure you follow my Amazon storefront, y'all. It's super important. It really helps me out. And you can also be notified when I go live. Now, if you want to see some of my latest videos, check them out over here to the right of me. Thank y'all so much for joining me. Premiere party. I love y'all. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.